Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and let's come back to 1852 when this game was played. History called this game Evergreen Chess Game and 170 years later still this game is green. I mean amazing, exciting and nice. So let's watch this game when Adolf Anderson, one of the best chess players at this time as a white, uh, played this game against Jean de France and now uh, White has option to take pawn back or to start the attack and because we are back on 1852 at this time chess players believe much more in attack than pawn so who cares about pawn if everybody is caring about attack and now uh, white played queen b3 and of course white is attacking pawn on f7 that's the first uh, sign that uh, white is uh, playing aggressively and it's up to black what he will play and maybe at this time uh, black doesn't know that queen is not the best defender maybe queen is the worst defender at all because if queen is going to defend pawn should happen that this queen will be under attack and black will lose another time. And that's exactly happened now because white played move um, e5 and after queen g6. Uh, let's speak about this position, how to play this position, how to handle this game. And uh, because white believe in attack, let's follow his idea. First important goal how to attack is to bring all our pieces to game. Second important step of our plan is to improve our pieces to maximum. And the last, not the least, but last, is to start the action. And that's exactly what will happen here. So move by move, step by step, White is following this simple plan. Rook is in a game and Bishop is in a game b5. I don't understand why Black decides to play move b5. Of course, he is losing pawn. Maybe he believed that he is searching for counterattack and he believed that this rook on b8 is doing a great job. But uh, what's the biggest Black issue? Is this king in the center. You know, uh, every king in the center should be in a danger. Okay, not every. Sometimes we are watching games where this is the best square for kings, but right now that's a proof that uh, this king is in a danger and uh, white know it, that he has to attack this king, but step by step, uh, now we played the knight to d2 and knight e4 and now we took pawn uh, on d3. White has a huge advantage and it's time for action. So now um, black played queen h5 and white is going to play amazing move knight f6. Check, fork and nearly game over. But uh, don't be surprised that this move maybe is not the best move. Um, because this variation will tell you that even here white is winning and uh, he is winning without any complications. So let's follow or let's watch this variation and let's see what's happened if uh, white should play another line. So okay, maybe knight d5. Okay, another chance is to go to g6, knight h4 and now that's game over because uh, black is losing queen but uh, maybe black will lose queen in every variation that's why uh, why this variation is much more stronger than um, game a uh, move which was played in the game but we should be happy because if white will decide to play this variation we have no chance to see such a beautiful move Knight f6. Yes, I am back in our the most exciting position and white played in knight f6. Of course, uh, black has to take and now there is a fork. Looks like nothing special because uh, white will win a piece back. That's not a big story. Now g8 and what's the threat? Of course, here is a knight and this knight is under attack because here is a pin. 
that's a nice friend and just uh, stop this video for a while and ask yourself what you will play here how you will stop this thread and maybe take two minutes and then come back because this is amazing time of this game because uh, white decide to go rook d1 and he doesn't mind to see this thread and he doesn't mind to lose a knight that's nice and that's the reason why this game is amazing so okay white played rook d1 and now black took a bone now he's smiling because here is a first threat checkmate on g2 and there is another threat maybe checkmate on g2 as well so what's wrong with white where white made a mistake no mistake white is winning because he's going to take knight on e7 and uh, now let's uh, let's uh, watch amazing demolition white will take pawn on d7 that's really demolition and now there is a check but not only simple check there is a check from the rook and of course here is a check from the bishop so what to play just imagine that uh, black is going here that's a checkmate immediately so black has to go back to e8 that's a funny now check on d7 and what a beautiful checkmate on e7 that's a green game ever green game and that's one of the most exciting chess game ever that's a beautiful checkmate because if there is a one mistake why is checkmated but uh, there is no hope that Black is winning because black is checkmated and say well done to both players because we saw amazing chess game and even this game is old old game because it has 170 years still we are enjoying we are enjoying this game this position and these two players which was heroes of this game so I hope that you will remember this game and this game should give you inspiration, motivation and the reason why we are playing and enjoying chess. Chess is a beautiful chess game, game of our lives. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you saw interesting game which called History Evergreen Game. And if yes, feel free and press like or press follow and make me happy. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. See you soon. Take care and play chess. Bye bye.